the young people who are the majority of your supporters come from the youth, how do you convince them with all this radicalization happening, people ready to kill themselves, bombings happening, the um, uh, economy being in so much debt, how do you convince them that Pakistan is not a failed state? Look, um, first of all, remember radicalization is different to religious extremism. You have religious extremists here, for instance, burning churches and stuff. You know, in Gujarat you, heard, you saw religious extremism. In Pakistan we have religious extremism. But they are always on the margins of society. Now what is happening in the tribal areas of Pakistan is that the Americans are indiscriminately bombing. They think they are targeting militants. Most of the time militants are on the move and get away. They end up killing innocent people and radicalize their families and the clans who then go and join the other side. And but then who affiliate themselves with Islam? Who kind of find a, a, some a resonance there? No, but it does. Yeah. It, look, if, when people live their religion, they will always fight in the name of Islam and different communities will fight in the name of their religion. The Jews, you know, the, the Jews who are fighting in Israel, they use religion. But the, the reason is not religion. Re reason is politics. All terrorist conflicts, the root of all terrorism is politics, not religious. When the Tamils are fighting the Sinhalese majority in Sri Lanka, it's not Hindu extremism. It's a, it's a political uh, tussle going on and the solution is also political. Calling Islamic terrorism, you are actually uh, making, exacerbating the situation because 1.3 billion people suddenly are, are bracketed into uh, being part of terrorism. How does anyone distinguish? between a radical Muslim and a moderate Muslim. How, it's not written on my forehead. Hmm. So it is actually a big disservice to a whole community when you put uh, uh, religious labels on terrorism. Terrorism knows no religion, but the root causes of terrorism are always political.